my name for those who don't know me the uh, there are people who will call me Daniel Kamau Kiroko Karoba which is okay uh there are those who call me DK at work I am called DK for Daniel Kamau and uh and where else where else do I have a diff- no, I think it's just that there are those who will call me Triple K because of Kamau Kiroko Karoba but here you can feel free to call me Daniel or feel free to call me uh Kamau I love God I'm blessed with a family uh my wife is called uh, Josephine and as I said today she came for first service I want her to rise up and wave because Ah uh, she is really it is a miracle isn't it to be here in first service I said last time thank you so much Josephine for joining me I w- we, I woke her up at 5 because uh we come from Kibiko Kibiko is Ngong so it's a bit far from uh, from Ngong a bit a distance and so uh we needed to be here and clap for us because by 6 what 650 something we were here so we sat in the car and said you know um we sat in the car and said okay let's you know uh chill, let's have a family moment of just you know uh talking and 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 it was so good so amen um the last time i was here we spoke about uh redigging and repossessing and we were focusing more of caring for one another right if you remember we talked about caring for one another because it is a fundamental it is expected of us as Christians to care for one another that is what we talked about and so today uh this week actually when i was i was told to prepare and uh, uh plan to share uh i was still looking at the theme but what was so deep in me was about wells wells visima praise the name of the lord wells the theme of this year is redigging and repossessing the wells and i thought about the wells a little bit because when i was reading the word i realized that the wells in the bible is very symbolic the well in the bible it is very symbolic there are things that happened in the past and even when jesus you know was on this earth that happened or took place in the well and so i thought even the use of the well in the bible the redigging and repossessing of the wells according to the theme is even more symbolic for us christians by the way do you know that haga you know haga or hagai Haggai encountered with an angel and had an encounter in a well we know that isn't it if that well was later called bea bea la bea i i struggle with the, the word because of where i come from but it has a roy somewhere right so it was called Wow that word and, and and I don't struggle by the way I don't know what's happening maybe it's a, a bit of tension but bel roy that is the word isn't it so that I don't say loy but he, she had an encounter with an angel after she had been frustrated by sarah you remember that story yeah she's frustrated and she's running away she's pregnant and she's in a desert and and then she meets an encounter with an angel right and the angel tells her to go back still when you still look at the well by the way do you know where jacob uh, where where isaac got a wife in a well when the servant of abraham went and and he he went he was looking he had been sent by abraham to look for a wife i don't know where our parents what happened they stopped uh, helping us get wives but at that time that was the case so uh the servant is sent and he he's in a well and then he's waiting for a lady who will come and and he had even put some measures on what that lady if that lady will do things like this then that is going to be the wife and do you know what happened isaac got rebecca 
from the well. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And did you know that even when this man called Moses ran away, right? He was at a well when he got, that is when he got to, to connected with Laban's uh, family, right? And he got, a, he got a wife, isn't it? Bachelors, praise the name of the Lord. Looks like a well has a deeper meaning. Praise the Lord. Hello? And by the way, did you know that coming back to Jesus, the first evangelist got an encounter at the well? There is this lady, the, Jesus is tired and is, is walking uh, in, in Samaria, isn't it? And then he decides to take, and I don't know why, again, why is it the well? But he decided to rest near. And when he's resting, there is this woman who comes to get water. And they is having, they're having a conversation, right? They're having a conversation. Again, at the well, this woman got an encounter. Because she was the first, she, was, she went away, you know, after that conversation, she went and said, come and see. I have got an encounter. There is a man who knows about me. There is a man. Praise the name of the Lord. It is at what? At the well. Hello? And talking about wells, in our home, years ago, I came from, uh, you people know that I come from Western, I came from Western. And I don't shy of saying like that, isn't it? So where I used to come from, we used to have water, ilikuwa na ito maji ya ziwa. I don't know ziwa where it is, but I know that we had water that was coming from the tap. Na ilikuwa na ito maji ya ziwa. And then at some point, he maji ya ziwa. I don't know what happened. Kwa taps tu ilifika in the 2000, ilifika mahali kapanya nini? Ikaisha, ikakatika. And then, now vile hiyo maji ilikatika, we, we had, um, uh, uh, we were going somewhere to get water from a bit far, but you know, my mother decided she was going to do a well. She decided she was going to do a well. So she, you know, in, in, in Western Kenya, and I don't know if, in Ukambani, I think any, they, they also have wells, isn't it? They are, they are wells, my brother and Zuki, right? So my mother did a well, brought some guys. They have those guys who are good at doing it. They, they, they did and they were kachimba until they get to a place. I think it's called an aquifer. You know, what we imagine we should call it aquifer. But I could aqua mist, aqua, aqua. Is it aquifer or aqua mist? Aqua mist is the 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 brand, isn't it? So it is aqu aquifer. Geography people, right? So they get to there and there is a place and they know that there is a place they know where they hit and there is what? Water. Water comes of that, of, you know, out of that. And so after water comes out, after the water comes out, there are several things that are done. The first thing that I saw my mother do is to put um, uh, what we would call anachukua like um, um, matifali and, and cement and then she builds like a sealant and I tengeneza mpakachini uh, up to where the water is to make sure that it is firm. Right? To make sure that it is firm. And then the, the other thing is she does is ikifika hapa juu and you can put, you can put the the, the, the picture, you can put my, my some, I, I think I had a picture of a, a well. And, 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 and what he does is he will make sure, this is a well. He makes sure, she made sure that it is well protected. Building, you know, um, uh, from the foundation coming up. Anaweka matofali. And, 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 and as you can see, this, this is an example, a good example of, of a well. Until up there, where it is, you know, very well protected. Yeah, well guarded. And carefully, number two, uh, uh, the lessons from the well. One is well guarded. It is well protected. It is, it is you know, in fact, what she did, alikuwa mbaka ametengenezea a metallic and it is covered na ikona padlock. Ilikuwa mbaka na? I don't know if that is the case. It is well protected because people like me, Sometimes we would want to find out where this water is coming from. And we may want to actually get where? Inside. And she made sure that it is, and there is, there is a specific person, a more responsible person who has what? The key. Very well protected, isn't it? 
And then there is careful consideration of what gets into and comes out of the well. I don't know if you can see something. That is what is allowed to go into the well. You don't start saying that today you are very generous. You are coming with your own container. Because they want to be careful on what goes inside. And they made sure that is, you know, what gets into and comes out of the well. And made sure that there is a good foundation. Concrete or sealant. Something to make sure that. And the reason is they are making sure they are protecting that water. My topic for today is guard your heart. Guard your heart. Friends, like we are talking about this well. There is a great comparison. And, and as we are going to read the, the word, you will see talking about a well or springs of water and the heart. And I'm not talking about the heart here, ya, ya, ya damu. I'm talking about the inner person, the inner you. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm talking about the command center of the soul, the command center of the mind, the command center. Guard it. That is what I'm talking about today. Because as, as we have talked about, just as a well was protected because of what is coming out of the well, so a heart needs to be protected because of what's comes out of the heart. Now, just quickly what we have talked about when we talked about the well, uh, significance of wells. I will quickly uh, uh, look at, at that significance of well. One thing about the well is intergenerational supply. When you look back, wells supplied water to Abraham and the same wells supplied water to Isaac after years. Praise the name of the Lord. There is the intergenerational supply. You know, Abraham is no longer there. And the Bible talks about in Genesis 26 when, when Isaac has been chased away by who? Abimelech, right? He has been chased away and is in, in this place and they need the supply of water. Do you know what he does? They, what they do? They redig what the father had already dug. Intergenerational supply. Another thing about wells, and we have talked about this, is a place of encounter and divine appointments. We talked about Haga, well of the one who lives and sees me, Be -be 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 Roy. We talked about Isaac meeting Rebecca. We talked about the Samaritan woman meeting Jesus at the well. And the other thing is, that is representative of a well is God's provision. God's provision. Numbers 21, verse 16 to 78, 17, God tells Moses to gather the people so that he can give them water. Praise the name of the Lord. God's provision. Number four, and this is what we were doing for sale this week from Isaiah 12, 3. If you can remember, it was talking about, therefore with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. From the, so there is a deeper, I want you to get the deeper significance of wells and we are going to bring it to the issue of guarding our hearts. Now the fifth and that is the, one of the, the, the most critical thing that, are, uh, uh, that my message is based on is wells represent the heart. John 7, 38, the Bible talks about rivers of living water flowing from within them. That is uh, John 7, 38. And then when we, you can put for us Proverbs 4, 23. Proverbs 4 and verse 23. What does the Bible say about our heart? The Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. The matters of life. Therefore, looking at what, the, what, what the, the comparison between the heart and the well is that just as the well is producing uh, uh, water, there is something that comes out of the heart that is very critical. And therefore, you must guard your heart. Do you know why, why you need to guard your heart? And I will tell you three things. One is that the devil constantly targets the heart. 
the devil constantly because if he he does not he does not you know come to your heart and you know like one and 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 and, and like come and destroy it it is slowly by slowly constantly targeting and moving you away from the calling the the, the reason is so that you do not realize he constantly targets the heart right through what through many many forms today i don't know if some of you noticed there's a time i wanted to i had had a very wonderful worship song i think along on the road and i wanted to listen to it so i go and put the song in my house and friends you know the, it starts the song just starts like this and then i see some funny music some people from nowhere on youtube dancing and i'm like what is happening so they have targeted that after what you want to listen they have put that gospel and then in the process apokatikati they put another song and by the way they make it such that ata hawezi uka lazima uone there is a there is some second that you must watch it I don't know if i'm speaking to people who are on youtube so that you must and you know people are coming dancing and shaking whatever they are shaking and you went there specifically to get nourished to worship isn't it and so they you try cl- clicking on the on the close advert and it is still what runs and you have and then you will say ah wacha ni imalizike slowly by slowly isn't it the other time itakuwa kubwa the other time utasema na ile wimbo wacha nisikize words ndio pia nipate kitu ya kuhubiri ama nijue isn't it so what it is comes slowly by slowly today if you watch news if you watch news you know the devil targets the heart vitu zinaingia ndani pole pole tu you you know it pole 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 and then it gets to a point where now the heart is almost like it is used to it is used to Sometimes it is just an issue of change. One time I was very broke I remember and I t- I tell this story. I was very broke and 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 then I I I got into a matatu and and I gave uh, I think 50 bob and the conductor I think when he was giving change thought I gave him a thousand and came with 950 and gave me. And I thought can I just alight from here? Where am I? I think my God has answered what? My prayer. Can I just finish the things that I was going to do? After all, I was just going to look for money and I have what? Got it. Slowly by what? It is not it doesn't come like pa and you it comes slowly. Targets you with especially when you are broke, especially when you when you when you are umekosana na there is even a brother born again. Alikuwa ameletana juu na bibi yake. Sijui kama huwa <laughs> kuletana juu inafanyika uh, siku hizi. Lakini alikuwa ameletana juu and that is the time an ex you know just called. By the way unakuanga wapi? He comes what? Tell your neighbor slowly. By slowly. And before you know it, you are a Christian externally we can celebrate you, we see you, but internally the devil is targeting guard your heart because the devil constantly targets your heart hello constantly targets your heart and number two, your heart is extremely valuable extremely what valuable it's the most important thing right it is the most important thing that you have it is actually just as we have read in 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 in, in proverbs it is the source of everything out of it comes issues of life matters of life and i've i've indicated there that the attack can be slow and unnoticeable because it is coming in t- from internal so on the outside by the way we can see you know there is a quote there i, I don't know if you will see it, but i can read it there is a quote, a quote from a book that uh, together with some colleagues of mine we are reading is called uh, um um What is the what is the name of that which there I think ordering your private world and there is a quote there that says externally all may seem well but internally moral and spiritual pollution of the times could be happening I don't know if you have 
sometimes hard to, 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 to give a receipt. Hello, those of you who are in corporate world. To give a receipt for a place you did not go, you did not sleep. Ha! Kwani ni mimi tu ninaonanga vitu kama hizi. You, you have gone for Naivasha and you looked for your relative and then you stayed with your relative and then you decided, okay, slow by slow. Do you have a receipt? Do you have what? A receipt. And then you start thinking, Naivasha Hotel ya ile inaitwa, what is the biggest hotel in Naivasha? Um, <laughs> inalipisha, I think inakuanga 6,800. Hapo ndiyo nitalala. Na hapo ndiyo nitarudishiwa hizo pesa. Praise the name of the Lord. The attack can be slow and unnoticeable. And it can get to a point where you get used to doing it. And then your mission. And then you derail what you are saying. You are calling. Sawa, sawa. You derail what? You are calling. And that's why we are saying you need to guard your heart. So he says, the external, listen to this. The external public world is easier to deal with. Friends, we can see you. You are shining African wear. We can see you. Praise the Lord. Hello. We can see your African where when I was coming, my wife told me, do you know it's the third Sunday? And I said, oh my. Why did I put on a suit? But when I came and I saw our, our, our pastor with a suit, I say, oh my, I think I'm in the right place also. Um, so, it is much more measurable externally. Friends, it is much more visible and expandable. It is the part of our existence easiest to evaluate in terms of success, popularity, wealth, and beauty. Our inner world is more spiritual in nature. Here is a center in which choices and values can be determined. Where solitude and reflections might be, might be pursued. It is a place for conducting worship and confession. A place where the moral and spiritual pollution of the times need not to penetrate. A place where moral and spiritual... You know spiritual. There is also spiritual what? And in this country there is spiritual pollution. Because we are where we are as a country, because people have allowed spiritual pollution to penetrate in search of wealth, in search of you know uh, uh, things that you know uh, do not, do not necessarily give value. They want to. It is sometimes a little bit about show off. Praise the name of the Lord. But I can tell you slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, it doesn't happen one time. We are saying three things, that the heart is under constant attack by the devil. The devil knows if he targets the heart, if he targets what? The heart. Then he has, he has successfully, you know, uh, 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 dealt with the Christian, Christians. You know, I was, some, some months ago, not some months ago, some years ago, I was together with my family, my mom, and we were putting a, a small house in, uh, in our Ushago in a place called Mariaine. And we, we did, you know, somebody came and did the foundation. Yeah? Did the foundation. It was very good foundation. And then after some time, you know, the process of building a house, you know, build the house, and it was looking smart. Uh, all those processes. And then, somebody, uh, I, I didn't have money, you know, to get a serious Plumber. You know, a serious plumber. So I got with, you know, you know, when you want to find young margin, you know, you are to up a Zimmerman. So we got somebody to come and be a Kunamali to my Taji Maji, who wake a Kwanumba and the house is Yataka Kujana motorbike yake. Kujaka, you know, did he said, you know, I, I, this house, um, we can put, he just decided near the house, just next to the house. Upon your anazaweka, in it was empty, come by your digester. Just there. So we, that's okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. We, I mean, in fact, it, I, I even thought it was going to be expensive. He told me what you just need is somebody to dig uh, just near the house. And then now that is where the water will be going. Put for me that, that house. I think it's, it should be there. That is the house. That's my mother. We were there. And that is the house in the inside building it. Uh, go to the next, uh, the next picture. It looked nice after finishing, isn't it? Does it look nice? It looked nice. It was good. And then, after some time, I noticed something. Do you know what I noticed? 
because of the, 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 water, the water that has been, that is just near there. Go to the next picture. I noticed cracks. I don't know if you can see. In the, in, in the, if you go to sit in that sitting room, my friend, even what uko. In fact, there is a time we went there and people, what we should go and go to the gambut and go and go. Who is on the carpet? My friend, carpet is not the issue. Outside, there is a big what? Crack. Because what happened is the water started seeping. In as much as the foundation was good, slowly by slowly, that's how the devil works. Slowly by slowly, it starts seeping inside. And then what happens is the foundation is shaken. Praise the name of the Lord. When the foundation is shaken, as much as in the, you know, you can like go back to the other picture. I want you people to see. I don't know if you can sit there and feel it is okay, isn't it? No, that one with those pillows until you realize it is cracking. Friends, externally, we can see you're doing good. You may be the most rich person. Friends, you may be the most, I like worship. I've been a worshiper for many years. You can sing and we are like, you know, everybody is falling down. But friends, are you careful about your inside? Are you taking care of your heart? Praise the name of the Lord. Or are you allowing? Because it can be slowly. I said here, the cracks in the house issue is an external manifestation of an internal problem. It will look good, but internally there could be a problem that needs to be addressed. So I called somebody. You know, I called uh, somebody. <laughs> my, my wife's brother is a... Is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a when I told you? Um, he, he's a foreman. See, when I told a foreman, he's a foreman, isn't it? But even engineer, you know, it's the same thing. And foreman do a good job sometimes, right? Because engineers are not even available. But he came and said... Who did this? He said, I came with somebody from Nairobi. And I was, you know, I, Nairobi, isn't it? I did not want to say a lot, but I came with somebody from? He said, this is where the problem is. And if you don't take care, this house will go down. And so I have, what he said is, we can fix it. The good thing, it can be fixed. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, friends, that is why, you know, Paul rebukes Galatians in Galatians 3, 3 and he tells them you started in the spirit but ended in the what? Flesh. A lot of us started cold but end up driven people. Yeah? Driven. You, 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 you are dri driven. Let's look at, uh, br bring us that, that uh, 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 comparison. There are two people in the Bible who started cold. They were cold. They had a mission. They, they knew where they, what they wanted. One is called uh, King Saul. You remember when King Saul was called? When Samuel, people, the Israelites are saying, hey, we want a king. We want demonstrate, isn't it? We want what? God gave them what? A king. You should read the Bible how it describes King Saul at the start. Leave alone him at the end when he's struggling with a young boy. The Bible describes Saul as in fact, in I would describe back shoulders, handsome. You know, you know those description of, of, of our. No, I wanted to say description of our ladies, but I think she did not look at me at that. But those description, tall, dark, and what? Handsome, because I'm, I'm shorter. So tall, dark, and handsome, right? Those descriptions. This was sold, by the way. Look at look at First King, and I, I, I think it's is it First King. I'm, or, or first Samuel, where when he, the, the soul is starting, everything is working towards him. Everything he is this, he's come from. He had the Bible talks about broad shoulders. I'm forgetting the exact words that the, the Bible uses, but he says broad what? Shoulders, isn't it? Handsome. I think when the Bible talks about handsomeness, I think the Bible is serious, isn't it? It's a serious book. It talks about handsome. Friends, he was called. And we are going to look at the other one who was also called. His name is John. And with a specific mission. Do you know the mission of John? To prepare the way. To prepare what? Put for us John. 
John 3, 27. And, and I, this, this, I, I have to say that I was getting some of these things from a book that we are reading together. By, it's by um, uh, Gordon MacDonald, Ordering Your Private World. If you get that book, you can, you can read it and you will love how he looks at this. This is what John 3, uh, 27 verse 30 says. Uh, to 27 to 30. Let's, so John answered. You know, you know those places where somebody, somebody is uh, reading the word and a preacher and a sermon. Uh-huh. I feel like that. John answered and said, uh-huh. John, yani, amekutwa. Kumbuka amekutwa, sindi yo? You know when somebody is answering, amekutwa na watu. Yeah? He said, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from? Uh Thank you. (laughs) You yourself bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ. But I have been sent before him. number 29. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. Have you stood for a wedding? You know, if you have stood for a wedding, it is the day of the bride and the groom. And that's why I think it, the, ladies, the, the bride is supposed to be on completely different what? I don't know if you have gone to a wedding and one of the bridesmaids, ameamua yeye ndiyo sasa attention. Yeye, yeye ndiyo, amekuja. Then anajaribu kutoa attention kwa. This is, this is John. He say me, I am like the bridegroom. Ah, ah no, I am, I am, I am standing. Mimi ni mesimamia. <laughs> Friends, you know what we are doing nowadays? Is we want the attention. That is the problem. Is we want, unataka wewe, in fact, there are people probably angekua ni yeye, ata kwa yu arusi yeye ni bride, lakini anasema, I wish I was the one putting on that gown. Adi anafeel, mwenye amevaa gown, anafeel mwenye amevaa gown, yeye ndi anataka na kwe kwa yu gown. Hello? Now, this is what he says, please put, put it back for us. He understands the mission. He says, who, he who was the bride is the bridegroom. Yeah, yeah, see him on your bride. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands, see, I used the word stand, it is there, stands, and hears him, he rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom voice. Unafraia too. Ada bridegroom akiong, you are happy. Therefore, this joy of mine is full. Me, I'm imagining somebody, somebody went to John to tell him, brother, job yako inafanya nini? Unajua watu wanaenda? Already, watu wanafanya nini? Watu wanaenda? <laughs> Unajua? Sasa ndiye anawajibu anawaambia, si hata nilikuwa nimefanya nini? Nilikuwa nimewaambia, I had already told you. That I am just there to prepare the way. And then verse 30, what does the verse 30 say? Uh-huh. It says if you go to 30 he must increase, but I must decrease. Hello? Friends, one thing that he knew, one thing that John the Baptist knew, he knew the mission. His mission was to prepare the way. on the other side, King Saul, he started well, got derailed from the mission. Wakati moja, he's going to war Akwanza natumwa ende akute the Amalekites, isn't it? And then he goes and then anachukua zile mbuzi. He has been sent for a mission. But he takes the, 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 the ship. You know, wakati Samuel anaongea na ee, Samuel anasikia maa. Anashindua hii. Siku wacha kuna mbuzi. Na muambia, haa, nilichukua mzito nifanya nini? The mission you were sent. But because of not guarding the heart. Anamua wacha ni? Isn't it? Then, anasema, hata nime spare nani? Agak, the king, isn't it? Friends, I want to ask you a question. Do you know your mission? I, do you know your mission? Are you like this John? Ameletewa, 
his job is job yake ni kama inaisha because there is somebody else watu wanaenda kwake is it it and he is not threatened he is telling them in fact i told you praise the name of the lord if you look at still that verse you realize i, I said number one, on on this side of john the baptist of people who guard their hearts they know their mission and on this side of king saul i was trying to compare he disregards the mission and is keen on accomplishment regardless of the consequences keen of accomplishment nimefanya isn't it and pr- friends even me i and you we need to check ourselves isn't it even as we look at wanting to accomplish wanting to are you going to step on people are you going to do all things to be able to be accomplished friends do you know the mission number two. John the Baptist knows exactly who he is or who yeah who he is and who he is not. He knows who he is and who he is. In other words, he knows his identity. Mimi nimeitwa na my period is this this is what I'm supposed to do. I am not the Messiah. I am not today my friend one of the biggest problems we have is and the biggest challenge in Kenya today. By the way, let me tell you some of these people started very well. Some of these people were called. But at some point because of wanting to accomplish and wanting to be seen and wanting to make statements and wanting to that is where we are as a country that's why we have a problem. And it's not just this country, even another country that I know of, somebody who has been called, a very good electrician called by God. Yeye ni he's a great electrician lakini Mungu amefanya nini? Amemuita and when he starts doing you know things and miracles and signs and wonders then he he starts seeing okay Uh, I think I can do more. He starts thinking I can do more. He's a pastor. Uh, somebody called sasa ni pastor lakini sasa akaamua wacha change jina. Ajite prophet. He used to be called what? So aka change and he believed that you know people must in terms of looking for accomplishment and people to to think he has the best church in town there is prophecy and all that things happening friends do you know what he's an electrician he go to a place where there was, there was no feel that anointing was no longer there because he's running for titles you know what he did because he used to like it that people fall when he's praying for them that was his thing and it is okay praise the lord But what he did is because the anointing ilikuwa imefika mahali imeisha I started by saying he was an electrician. He came up with an idea watu wako wanatoa nini? Viatu. And then he uko kwa background works with somebody. Uko nyuma. He knows how to control voltage. He's an electrician. So all of a sudden he comes and says Moses was told by God when you are going to the altar you remove your shoes. And you know people are following We started by saying is what so he knows the voltage that can he can mtu ana connect nyinyi mnafikiria mko kwa power ya holy spirit kumbe ni nguvu za umeme and the people would come in and they by the way they would feel something <laughs> you know you will feel something but thank god because there was another electrician alikuwa amepigwa pigwa na na nini akifanya kazi yake akaanza kujiuliza ah hii si ile inanigonganga the other side praise the name of the lord friends when you get to a point you even don't know who you are it becomes a problem because you are looking for accomplishment to make a statement to come with the best car praise the lord leaders and i'm speaking this to leaders even including sales and you know sometimes you may want to accomplish things and you are uli toka kitambo sasa ni nguvu za umeme zinatumika now people are just still falling down and saying by the way there is something i feel i felt now people who people like john the baptist they have an unwavering commitment up to the end even when they seem like they are losing an unwavering they have a sense of purpose niliitwa nifanye nini I imagine I like, can imagine if we have like uh, people when you are met because he's answering somebody. So mtu amekaa anataka kwenda kumwambia by the way John the Baptist. You know what? There is this, this guy who has come. And he's uh, he's 
he's sort of, people are going to him. You know, if John the Baptist was this kind of people today, that is what he would start thinking. Maybe this pastor, upako imesonga, sasa anatafuta, so John the Baptist probably would be looking, sasa nitawabatiza haji. Ni wajue, isn't it? Nimekua nikawabatiza na muna hii. Sasa anatafuta, ana innovation. Ya vila atawabatiza. Ili kuamba abaki na hawa hatu. Because watu wanaenda. Somebody has come and said, hey bana, people are going. He said, you know what? As I told you, I came to prepare the way. Praise the name of the Lord. The other side is King Saul. He's about accomplishment and pursuit. He's uncontrollable. In fact, that was not the, the only time King Saul was uncontrollable. You remember again, um, when, when, when uh, there's something that they, he did, I think it was sacrificing. You know, it was supposed to be priests who are sacrificing, isn't it? And then here, Naona, who is Samuel? Kwanza amezeka. I may take time. Iki tu tungekuwa ningekuwa ni sacrifice tumefanya nini? Tumemaliza na tumeanza vita na hawa wa Philistine. Si ndio? You remember? I would have done it a long time. And see I would he actually did it. So when Samuel is coming anakuja kumwa he's coming to report. Looks like you 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 came late. Right? He says you looks like you came late. So I have already done what? That is where now the Lord starts rejecting him. Friends the fourth th- thing is people who guard their heart know that they are stewards. You are, you have been given even the resources by God as a steward. You have been given your children by God as a steward. God has brought the people that he has brought to you as what? I think that is what John the Baptist knew, isn't it? And he did the right thing. He's actually telling them, hey, there is somebody else who is coming. Who will baptize you? What does he say? There is somebody who is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. There is somebody who is coming. So he is a steward of the people that God has given by giving them the correct what? I want you to know that you are a steward. Praise the name of the Lord. Guard your heart to the point of understanding that God has put the resources, the children, the everything because he entrusts you as a steward. Guard your heart. People who, people who, who are, you know, at some point, I think King Saul probably thought he owned people, isn't it? He owned what? He owned he owned, and, and that's why he's even struggling with, at the end of it all, it's so bad because he's struggling with this young boy to kill the young boy. Because he forgot that he was a steward. Friends, I want you to know that God has placed you where you are. God has given you the resources that he has given you because he has entrusted you as a steward. Take care of God's people. And I'm speaking this because as a country, the biggest problem that we are having today is people started so well. Even some of our politicians, by the way, they start so well. They start so well until they get to a point where now it is about a massing. It is about themselves. It's about, you know, uh, building empires. It's about working with the latest Lexus and all that. That is when, and God is going to place some of you in places, and I want you to remember this, that you are a steward. And some of you have already been placed in places. I want you to know that you are a steward. Because God, in fact, he's, he's told by Samuel, God has what? Rejected you. Hello? Guard your heart because you are a steward. Guard your heart because God has placed you resources in you as a steward. Yesterday when I was watching news, I think yesterday or the other day, I saw a people, and that is where now people have gotten. Because of not guarding their heart, they don't even now care about people. They forget that they are stewards. So people decide there is this sugar that is, 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 it is they are calling it is not good for consumption. They decide because of not guarding their heart that they can go and package it and sell to people. You, you have watched that news, isn't it? Very disheartening. It is because, and as a country, we have to come to a point where we guard our hearts. And I want it to start with you. In the name of Jesus. That I cannot do this. This is the line I cross. 
Even if I'm working in this office and I'm told I'm supposed to coordinate the, 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 the packaging of this sugar, I say no. Praise the name of the Lord. I cannot say, you know, so I say no, because I am guarding the heart. Just like the well is protected. Because out of it comes springs of life. Out of it comes water. You want to make sure you protect your heart. Because out of it comes the issues of life. I want us just to quickly stand up. Our time is up. I'm sure I'm having um, uh, past few minutes. And I want you to tell God something. I want you to look at your heart. And I want you to tell God, God, I need wisdom. I want to guard my heart. I want to guard my heart. I want to be, I want to be at a place where I am careful of what is getting inside my heart. Just go before the Lord and tell God, God help me. That in pursuit of success, in pursuit of accomplishment, I don't want to make, I don't want my heart to get to a point where it is eroded. I don't want to get to a point where I am, I am compromising my values because of the things that I need. May the Lord help us. Father, may you help us. Father, may you help us. We're praying today that you help us, oh God. That we will guard our hearts because out of it comes the issues of life. Out of it, Lord, comes the issues of life. Praying that God you help us. Praying that God you help us. Help me, oh God, to know the mission that you have called me for. That I am called and I'm not a driven person. May you help us, oh God, to guard our hearts. I don't know if you're here and you have a need. I just want to pray for you wherever you are. If you're here and there is a need that you have. Maybe it is even based on the word that I've spoken today. Maybe it is something that you need. There is something in your heart that is, you know, that you're struggling with. I want to pray for you that God will come through for you. Because he's able. He's able to change. Even if your heart had been infiltrated. Like that house that I talked about, it is still possible to be able to rebuild it. It is still possible for God's mercy upon us. It is still possible. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for your word. Lord, we thank you that today you have taught us, oh God, that we need to guard our hearts because out of it comes issues of life, matters of life. Father, I pray that you will help us. That in the pursuit of success, in the pursuit of excellence, in the pursuit of accomplishment, we will not compromise. We will guard our hearts and make sure that nothing, the pollution and spiritual morality or immorality of this world will not get to us. But oh God, we will leave us Christians who Lord are called by you and not driven by pursuits of accomplishment. Lord, there are people who are here. They need finances. I am praying for your provision in this week in Jesus' name. There are people who are here who are sick or have sick people at home. I'm speaking healing in the name of Jesus. There are people who are here who are depressed because of an issue at work. I am speaking that God, you are making a way even where there seems to be no way. There are people, Lord, who are looking for jobs. There are people who have received regrets. Lord, I am speaking to them that you are making a new way even where there is no way. Lord, I am declaring right now in the name of Jesus that, oh God, you are coming through for them. You are coming through for them. Everyone who has lifted up their hand, you are coming through for them. You are coming through for them, oh God. By faith, oh God. By faith, oh God. We declare that they are receiving that which they need. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.